and watch me be light. Somewhere between darkness and death, sometime in the distance, senseless in silence, in absented breath, matters that live on an edge round a circumference vested with privilege that has determined we hear what is before us, beside us, and with us, that had always been near, something we never knew, come here to alter us, Soft sun melts in the nimbus, dissolves again into the cirrus. The endless hereafter is blue, and sunlight enfolded releases the trellis of each rainbow you, whose train rains down each slope of its arc to the watery reaches its sea spray foundations to blanket the dark with a silken soft luminance born from the rainwater sun. Light in its colorful valence comes in its justified truth to root in the radiant earth within which because of there is an ocean all mothering birth. There is a girder all fathering love. Sometimes in moonlight the sun to find other light travels the starlit interstices to scatter the seeds of Orion. Stars form deep in its belt on the surface of infinite seas where each wave is felt in shuddering sky and comes to our vision, making our vision what we envision. We witness light particles fly like sandstorms in waking dreams that ask us to focus our vision as we awaken back into vision or to find the extremes with clarity, foresight and empathy or indifference hide the unseen. So goodbye to cynics and skeptics, channels of sludge to dredge. Joy is a prelude to ecstasy, enlightens the vision of mystics cast from a bridge over an edge to consider that arch and expanse, measure the gravity of non-specifics, the way the word traces the dance, or light that illumines the blind, lifts in a star-chambered mind, a chalice formed from a chrysalis, and all its gold facets combined in each indivisible sense. In a time closer to twilight, the dawn wanders alive through spent summer nights until the chill November rain freezes on corn stalk stacks. In autumn's mere light, the singed husks glisten like chandelier tears. The summer is over forever. All those unmemorized years, the hope to succumb resists now in imminent winter, snowflakes that powder the pewter sky, gray as a mentor, white as the darkness to come, melt into spring-fed water wheels, spin the bright weight of the sun, ladle the buckets of light into the furrowed, fertilized fields. A wine in a chalice, the lover's delight under a trellis, light lifts from shadow, green grows the rose garden arbor, and all the amaze is alive in the wide wonder. Deep oceans harbor, it swims in the seas like anemones, gather the self-lit fire or phosphor that glows to remember Pleiades, the bright souls hung there before.